Okay, I've been wanting to try out my new Cena 10C Pro. Just finishing up today. Sunday at work. Nice, quiet Sunday, no traffic. That's kind of one of the pluses of working on the weekend. go ahead and try it this way home. I'm going to close my shield here to see if maybe it cuts down on the wind a little bit. It'll be interesting to see how this sounds when I finally get home and get to take a look at it. This morning I have my commute to work. I thought I was recording. <laughs> and bummer, it turned out I wasn't. So just working out the glitches of this whole new camera. So I do have the next two days off and I'm excited to start getting things done and getting things tied tied up around here. It'll be good to get everything packed and good to go. It's Tuesday is my last day off and then I work the rest of the week and then I'll be taking off Saturday morning. I'm so excited. Blue Ridge Mountain Parkway or Blue Ridge Parkway, here I come. Uh, it's assuming we don't run into any funny glitches. I hope the, I don't know, that's just my negative thinking kicking in, overthinking, so I'll stop that. These cool little, uh, little brownstone houses, I guess not so little, but I think they're called brownstone, like the style. And, um, pretty, pretty old. Lots of history in those, in those houses. And then coming up here on Georgia Avenue. I don't know if you remember from one of my last videos, the streets that run diagonally in DC are the ones with the state names. And another light. Yeah. One of the things about, um, and it's probably, I'm sure, with any, you know, very urban inner city area, there's stoplights, one after the other after the other, and if there isn't a stoplight, then there's a four-way stop. <laughs> so it is, um, oh, and then if you'll also notice that um, on, we also notice some, if you're going down these streets, you can also see the, um, that there's only just like a two lane street and they don't have any like left turnout lanes or right turn lanes so if somebody is turning left then they're blocking the entire left lane of traffic and same thing turning right although the right turns are obviously a bit easier than the left just very much an older part of the city i guess
Yeah. And that's what happened there. Somebody was turning left and someone was in a hurry to get around them. And then on some of these side streets, like if you go down like this one here, um, people are parked on the right side and blocking the entire right lane. So they actually only are one lane streets. I mean, remember I'm taking my van down those a couple of times and it got a little scary because you're coming in two different directions and there's nowhere to go. So <laughs> decided to try to avoid those little side streets in my van. Nice, uneventful ride home. I like it. This morning, believe it or not, it was actually pretty happening. A lot of red and blue flashing lights. Don't know, maybe a lot of people still recovering from their Saturday nights out or something, but a few ambulances, a couple of cop cars, and one of the lanes that I was uh, on the road that I was using was blocked with some police and um, ambulances. But uh, this evening, it looks like it's a pretty quiet ride. That's awesome. his light was green. Pretty commonplace. People trying to parallel park in the middle of the street because it's our only place they've got to go. Not much elbow room here, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and get in this lane. I'm not sure it's going to make much difference, but just in case somebody, if there's turning left, I don't want to get stuck in that line of traffic. And there is no lane splitting or filtering here, so it's not like I would want to anyway. I mean, look how tight that is up there. There's just no elbow room here. Walmart right smack in the middle of the city. I guess it's just street parking. Maybe there's parking in the back, like a garage or something in the back. I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. And again, someone parallel parking in the middle of the street because it's all they can do. Mini mo. Guess I'll just stay in this lane. Somebody's wanting to turn left up there, so I think we're stuck for a bit. Mark up there, which is that target on the left. I'll be turning left up there, and then I'll be the one holding up traffic. <laughs> Perfect timing. A lot of these um, side streets off of the main drag are like so beautiful with like the tree canopies over, or, like the, yeah, the like, canopy of trees over it. It's just, I don't know, I love that stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful trees. It's very populated, but I like that they were able to keep so much of the trees. these lights just right it's awesome well at least the um in the latter portion of the commute anyway I'm 
my mirrors are still tweaked. Need to get those new mirrors on. Excited about that. That's going to be my um, project for the next couple of days. Part of my project. I got a lot of projects this last couple, next couple of days. It'll be interesting to see if any of this actually recorded and um, see how the um, sound sounds in the video and maybe I'll make actually like a real stop here. All right, put down. Here comes the car anyway, so I'm not sure what the motion you can go. Thank you. And let's see if I can find some parking here. This will do it. Alright. Well, thanks for riding home with me. looking forward to giving my motorcycle a spa day. Um, that won't happen until I get into Arizona, but um, yeah, I'd love to give her a spa day. 